Hello. I know it's been a while since I made a video, I know. Just had a lot of stuff going on, of course. My uh, birthday was on Saturday. I am now a year older. I'm not going to tell you how old I am because, you know, the old saying, <sighs> no, but a lady never reveals her age. <laughs> <laughs> throw that out there, I know, it's all random. Okay, what's going on? Well, there have been some coaching changes concerning the Cowboys. Of course, the big one is the demotion of Monty Kiffin. Well, I, I know that a lot of us out there who are big Cowboys fans called for him to be fired. Uh, I'm guessing Jerry Jones couldn't didn't have the heart to get rid of the guy, so he's like, here, why don't you take a lower position on the coaching staff? Now, I'm really confused about that, even though I am happy that Rod Marinelli got promoted to the defensive coordinator. Now, I called that in one of my podcasts. I'll have to post the link to that one in the, uh, in the info box, or I'll post it somewhere. <laughs> And the team also hired some guy named Scott Lenahan to be, I don't know, if he, passing coordinator, I guess, is his official job title. Now, this, now the hiring of Lenahan has caused a lot of, you know, a lot of confusion, a lot of skepticism, because he used to be the offensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions, and he was more, I guess, as some people would call him, a more pass-happy offensive coordinator. Offensive coordinator. Blah, 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 sorry about that. My bad. <laughs> but, um, seems to be very, very, like I said, a very pass-happy offensive coordinator. Like, all his game planning revolved around the, revolved around throwing the football, and of course in Detroit when you don't have much of a running game and you have a mega talented wide receiver in Calvin Johnson and a really good quarterback like Matt Stafford at your disposal, of course you're going to do those things. But let's take a look at it from this way. Yes, you, like in Detroit, Lenahan's going to have the mega talented wide receiver in Des Bryant, but here's the thing, Tony Romo is going to turn 34 years old in a couple of months, so he's no spring chicken. And the thing is, the man can't keep, you know, throwing the ball about, uh, I'm, I'm going to give a rough estimate here, about, mm, about 55 to 65% of the time. That's not very balanced, and when you have a really good running back like DeMarco Murray, you want to utilize him to the absolute best of his abilities, you know, and take some of the pressure off Romo so he doesn't have to throw the ball 50, 60 times to win a game. It's not fair to him. And I'm beginning to think Tony Romo, uh, not Tony Romo, Tony Romo's awesome, I'm sorry, you, if you know me, you know, you know what I think of him, you know I think he's great. It's Jerry Jones, who I think is being unbelievably unfair to Romo. I, I don't want to go into a rant because it's just, it, mm, it's not right. I'll just put it to you this way, this Lenahan hiring... I hate it. I just hate it. It seems like an underhanded, sneaky, sneaky tactic by Mr. Jones to further undermine Jason Garrett, who's just, who I think should, who I now think should just throw up his hands and go, that's it, I'm out, I quit, I can't take it anymore. And you know, to be honest, that's actually not a bad idea. But I'm thinking Garrett is a prideful man. So I don't think he's going to do it. He's a puppet. Oh, well. Another day, another weird and wacky day in the life of the Dallas Cowboys. Well, I'm going to stop right there. And I will see you folks soon with another video.